Now we are able to add many questions and we can make AI to answer all those questions and it's going to be super fast. Previously, when you ask a question to AI, it's going to answer with one answer. Now we are in a situation that we have multiple questions to ask AI and we want multiple answer at the same time. Is there any efficient way to do this? And what if you have a private document or private data within your own company and you have multiple questions to ask this AI and how we can process this much quicker. If it's one question, it's easy. What if it's thousand questions to ask? That's when we have vector shift pipeline for bulk jobs where we are able to define pipeline like this with our custom data. Then after we deploy, we are able to ask questions based on that by uploading all those questions. That is super cool. I'm going to take you through step by step how you can create a pipeline to automate your workflow and publish that as an application. Then add your custom knowledge, that is your private data, and able to ask thousands of questions to AI and get answers which you can use it later. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. Thanks to Vectorshift for sponsoring this video. Vectorshift is a no-code AI automations platform where you are able to build a pipeline, create custom chatbot with your custom data, automate workflow, and there are many more features. In this, we'll be especially looking at bulk jobs. I've already created many different videos about Vectorshift, which I'll put that link in the description below. So first step, create pipeline. Once after you log in, you will have a dashboard like this where you have pipelines, marketplace, knowledge, files, and much more. So in this, we got the bulk jobs feature recently got added. So step number one, creating a pipeline, click on that and click new pipeline. Now I'm going to create it from scratch, but if you want to get started with the template and you've got multiple options here, which you can select. So clicking create pipeline from scratch. So you can name your pipeline. So first as a user, they should be able to add a question. So that is the input. So I'm going to drag the input here. Next after this, I can add a large language model that is AI, that is open AI. So I'm just dragging that here. And finally it goes to the output. So dragging the output from here to here. So three simple steps. Now I'm going to provide a system instruction here. You are an expert financial analyst. You respond to the question based on context. Now adding the prompt. First, we are providing only question and adding the input as the question to here. And once the large language model responds, we are sending the output to the output. That's it. A simple flow. But this time, I'm not going to add any custom data inside just to see how it's going to perform. Now it is ready. Now step number two, how you can publish this application. So at the top, you got deploy changes going on to deploy changes. Now changes deployed. Now after this export pipeline, clicking on this icon, then you got bulk jobs, clicking on that. Now I can name the bulk job, just say Mervin bulk job and create bulk job. Now you'll have a screen like this where you can change the logo if you want and change the name if you want. I'm going to say Mervin Prison just uploading my own logo, then deploy changes. Now going to click export and you got your application deployed in this URL. Now I can open this URL by clicking this icon. And now the application is ready with my logo and name. Similarly, you are able to customize this application based on your requirement. Now I'm going to test this by adding multiple questions, upload data, clicking on that and clicking this icon, adding a list of questions and mapping that and clicking add data. Now I can see all the questions from my CSV file got added here. Now clicking run bulk job. Now you can see it's processing the request and these questions are company specific. Describe how this company makes money. So this model doesn't know what company is this, what data is this. So if you see most of the answers, it's like I can't provide answer. I don't have access to real time data. Now the final step adding custom knowledge. That is your company data. In our case, I'm going to take Apple's company data available public and it contains more than 70 pages and all these are numbers and tables. So we are going to ask questions based on this. So coming back to our dashboard, you got knowledge. So click on knowledge there. Click new knowledge. I'm going to name it as custom data. I'm keeping all of the values as default and clicking create. Now you'll have a dashboard like this. I'm going to upload the file, clicking browse files. And now it got uploaded and clicking finish. So now you can see the uploaded file 
is getting indexed and now the status is ready. Now going back to the pipeline which we created before, here we are going to add a context. So at the top we got knowledge base, clicking on that, adding the knowledge here, adding it here and we are sending the question to the knowledge base to search for it. In the drop down, I'm choosing the custom data and the results should be passed to the prompt. So I'm going to add one more variable here, context, just saying context. And the output from the private data goes to the context. Now it's all ready. Just we added an additional knowledge block. Using the question, we searched the knowledge base and retrieved relevant information as context. That is the only difference. Now we are ready. Deploying that changes. Coming back to the deployed interface, clicking upload data, uploading it and adding data. Now all the questions got added. Now I'm going to click run bulk job. Let's see how it's going to perform. Now you can clearly see for all these questions, it's able to extract relevant information from the custom data, that is the private data, and it's able to answer all these questions. That is impressive. Now you might have thousands of questions and you have loads of data. And using this bulk tool, you are able to get answer for all those questions. I'm really excited about this. Considering you already liked vector shift, I've already created another video in regards to vector shifts, new features, which I'll put that link in here. And I highly recommend for you to watch if you want to know more about vector shift. And I will see you there.